Today, for the first time ever, we turn the pages of the calendar ahead to the future in the first ever spring breakout, showcasing the top young rising stars in pro ball. Welcome to the spring breakout. Today, it's the top young stars in the Blue Jays organization against the Yankees in a seven inning game. A blend of the old and the new as you see Andy Pennant in attendance, getting ready for some of these young ball players to play this spring breakout game. Rock Selvage, the lefty, getting the start for the Yanks. Last year at A and high A Jack, 24 games including 23 starts. There is something different about this Bob you've already discussed that. Loud swat out to left but Durbin is there one away and a one two pitch from Selvage. Another great off speed pitch got him 81 mile per hour pulled the string on that one strikeout two away. Yeah we're seeing reasons why the Yankees are high on Selvage just the ability to go inside and then to go as you said Bob outside with that slider. Well struck but Arias right there to put it away and that will do it a one two three inning for the Yanks and Brock Selvage bottom of the first and they go up against Adam Mako the lefty who was in high A last year 20 starts an ERA of just under five and about a three to one strikeout to walk ratio Lombard is 18 going to turn 19 in June already has a spring training home run three two pitch. Good contact right there from Lombard Jr. to start things off with a base hit to right here in the bottom of the first. 3 2 pitch. Lombard Jr. trying to put the ball in play. Macko had worked back from 3 0 to 3 2, but Lombard Jr. just shoots it the other way. A guy who could make some things happen, and that's Spencer Jones. He's been called the left handed hitting Aaron Judge. Put that ball in play. You gotta watch that. That'll be a souvenir. Spencer Jones, my goodness, best of the best out to right center. Just like that, it's 2 0 Yankees. Jones showing that prodigious power that the Yanks love him for. I'm going to steal a line from one of his teammates. That's how you show up. Spencer Jones did show up in the first inning. He's been showing up all spring. The Yankees firmly believe he will show up in the Bronx eventually. And, and what a sweet swing that you just detailed, Bob. Ben Rice flares a base hit into center field. So Rice, a highly touted catcher and bat, first pitch swinging, attacks, and he's got himself a single. Just behind Dominguez and Jones. 3-2, swing and a miss, strike three. Blue Jays going to a right-handed pitcher to try to get the last out of the bottom of the first. C.J. Van Eyck. 21 steals in 24 games there. Grounds it to third base, that'll do it. Allen Roden is the hitter. 314 hitter in the minors last year. Chops one up the middle. He'll try and get two. Nice play by Arias, but he throws that ball away. However, the runner going, so now they've got him hung up, but it's just a matter, Jack, of executing the rundown. Which they do. No way that Rodin was going to get out of that one. This is the number nine hitter, TJ Rumfield, 24 years old, out of Richmond, Virginia. Rumfield might have gotten a hold of one. Uh, he got a hold of one. Watch the right fielder just watch it fly. T.J. Rumfield. What was that you said about home runs, Jack? That's another two-run shot. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. One more look at the swing. He's 6'4", 225, stays back on that pitch, and you see right about there, he knew he was gone. Stayed anchored on that backside and then and followed all the way through. Spring breakout, Yankees and Blue Jays as we reach the top of the third. Justin Shackle joined by Yankees VP of Player Development, Kevin Reese. Kevin, good to see you. I talk to you about as well is Everson Pereira because he came up last year, got a taste of the majors, and he, he's kind of flown under the radar in big league camp this year. Passionate viewer, you know she was watching right there. So Sam Reese is watching Kevin give us a rundown on the players that he knows as well as anyone. 2-2 pitch and a strikeout for Selvin. So he talked about his competitiveness, and we just saw it right there as he strikes out the side for the Blue Jays. We head to the bottom of the third. One out, and now Augustine Ramirez is the hitter. First pitch swinging. Pops one the other way and drops it into right field for a one-out base hit. Marutis misses up, and it's a one-out walk, first and second Yanks. Aaron Boone told me yesterday that he is confident that Caleb Durbin is going to be a big leaguer for a long time. He thinks that Durbin has a bright future. Certainly impacts the ball there, drops it in. Second ground rule double of the game for the Yankees for Durbin. A base hit that'll knock in a run and make it 5-0 Yankees. One more look at this swing from Durbin. Yeah, he gets a breaking pitch that hangs up in the zone, and he is all over it. Here's Yorbit Vivas, two aboard, one away. 2-2 two -two pitch coming up. Instead, how about just a base hit to right that'll score one run. 
And the throw home, two runs. So Vivas, two runs batted in, and the Yankees lead it seven to nothing. If the Yankees love his bat to ball skills. He, he puts the ball in play, able to drive that one into right field. Got a little Joe Morgan for you, Bob. How about that? So little Rubned, little Joe Morgan. That is pretty sweet. It's the third inning, and Spencer Jones is taking his third at bat of the game. And now up with a chance to do some more damage. And a chopper to second base. It took a funny hop, and he beats it out. In fact, Jack, what was interesting about that was he wasn't coming out hot out of the box thinking it was a foul ball, and then he beat it out. Selvage is 1-0. High drive to right field. Going back, Jones. He's at the track. He's looking up, and it's off the wall. Barger around first. Ball caroms away from the outfielder. Barger around second, and he wants third. Helmet left in his wake. He'll get a stop sign with a standing triple. The first Blue Jay hit is a ringing triple to right center field. It actually looked like Spencer Jones could have caught that ball. He looked up, and I think he expected it to go over the wall. It hit off that wall almost by the 408 sign. Again, that, it's a lot to ask of anybody, especially in a game that's nationally televised, because we're giving a lot of attention to players who stop prospects still showing you something in this game. But you're with these players every day. What's the best reaction that you've received from a player related to this showcase game to really just help our guys be the best they can be? Wow, you got a lot to talk about with Brock Selvage, just about how good he was. Mario Garza, we thank you so much for joining us as Selvage wraps things up in the fourth three straight strikeouts. Here's Spencer Jones in his fourth at bat, a home run, a single, a couple runs batted in. Lifts that one out to center field. Well struck, keeps flying. Gone again, Spencer Jones, second home run. Jack, did that clear the camera well in center field? It may have. Wow. 399 on his previous home run. We'll have to see what the tail of the tape says on that. But it's his second home run of the game. And the Yankees lead it 9 to nothing. Jay Savina has taken over for Everson Pereira. He lifts one out to right. Good ball flight to the front of the warning track. And the sun a bit of a factor out there. Another 18-year-old, Emmanuel Bonilla, at the plate right now in a 2 and one count. Bonilla lines the ball to left field. That's down for a base hit. Hesitating and racing to second is Minoso. And the Blue Jays have two on for the first time today with nobody out. Grand ball to the left side. Nice play there. Spinning play by Kiner Delgado to wrap things up here in the sixth inning. Ground ball to short. This could be two. Nope. It's popped up in the air off the glove of the shortstop. And reeled in there by Lombard. The 0-2 to Toman is a line shot to left center field. That's going to split the outfielders. And it looks like the Blue Jays first run. One in to score. Namala slides into second. No one covering. Or Namala slides into third. No one covering second base. So a smart play there by Toman. He just motors his way up to second. Not sure if they'll score him a double on that or not. But regardless... A smart play by Tucker Toman. And a short. Lombard's got it, two away. And a swing and a miss, and that will do it. Nice way for Neely to wrap up the game. And here in the top of the seventh inning, he allows a run, but strands a couple. And the Yankees come away with a 9-1 win.